Hello, and welcome to the behind-the-scenes look at Matrix version 7. You know, it's been a long time coming. Our staff has worked really hard to bring a lot of features and new tools to uh, Matrix, and I think you're really going to enjoy what you hear from the staff. You know, I, it's my chance to brag on the staff just a little bit because I don't believe that there's anyone in the world more passionate, more excited, and more devoted to bring you a product like this. And so enjoy the video and uh, also enjoy the product as it lands on your desk over the next few weeks. I thought rendering couldn't get any better. Uh, VRI1 can produce some amazing renders and I, I didn't know what else we could do until I saw the new interface for Matrix 7. So we now have full control over everything that V-Ray does, from how it creates its materials to how it applies them, renders them in every single setting inside of V-Ray. So we really focused on providing all the control with none of the hassle of the back end of V-Ray. So we presented them in a very user-friendly fashion, and you know, we're really excited to see what comes back. And so what this has done is it's given us an ability to reach every user type that uses Matrix, all the way from the brand new user that's never touched the program before, can literally, literally click two buttons and get a great looking red. <laughs> well, it's going. It's going. Okay. Working as fast as I can. We'll have to hand draw that. As a matter of fact, give that to Brian. Okay. Uh, probably bigger than any of those things, though, is the addition of, of T-splines and how easy it's going to be to do organic modeling that would just take you a long time in, in surface modeling techniques. That opens up a whole new way of modeling. We did a lot of work with the T-splines people to integrate their products. Really opens up some, some nice new ways of building designs. We've included a whole library of start, starting designs to get you going. Should be fun to click through those and integrate some of those into your designs. We decided that it would be best if we could give users some starting point inventory that they can work with. Um, we find it really helps you to learn the technology when you have a pre-existing model that you can push and pull and tug on instead of having to create a lot of that from scratch think of it in two ways. You can you do parts of it in T-splines, parts of it in nerves, and it's just adding a whole other element to it. T-splines is really an entirely new way of thinking about modeling. In my original role, I did a lot of the user interface uh, setup, uh, not the design, but just the implementation. Um, for Matrix 7, uh, my focus has really shifted towards the back end, and so I do a lot of writing of the builders, the various commands that are in Matrix. My major focus for working with the GemVision development team is for all the user interface design and the workflow. I'm known as the button girl around here and I design anything from what you click on, uh, working through Matrix, working on the tools, the builders, so anytime there's a new idea it passes through and I'm part of the team. Oh, as the developers develop Matrix 7, uh, we look at the new tool sets and we figure out how they work in conjunction with one another and then how that applies to a specific jewelry concept. So then we take that uh, concept and we break it down into step-by-step -step processes and write tutorials and create tutorial videos for our end users so that they have an easier time learning the program. So I was lead developer for Matrix 7. Uh, I've got a lot of new exciting things in Matrix 7. There's a lot of technical challenges going on getting that going. Pretty pleased with the results. Offers a lot of new functionality compared to Matrix 6. I think one of the biggest challenges in the support department uh, regarding T-splines is knowing when to use T-splines and offer that for, as a solution for a model and when to just do it in NURBS because a lot of times with a new tool, um, Travis has a saying, get a new hammer and everything looks like a nail. And so people tend to get a new tool and they tend to use that for everything. 
And then so I think we need to really look at models and say, well, this is a NURBS model, this is a T-splines model, and then of course you have the challenge of learning T-splines, but I, it'll be interesting to see what models lend themselves to that technology. With uh, Matrix 7, I was responsible for integrating V-Ray and T-splines into uh, our tool sets. Uh, I was also responsible with, uh, to uh, improve uh, the F6 functionality with uh, adding additional features to the, the menus. Now, I've helped out a lot with the um, implementing of new gemstone shapes into Matrix 7. We took actual live gemstones, ideal cut gemstones, and we scanned them on a Saren scanner and brought in those files into Matrix and converted them over into actual gem objects. Really gonna help a lot with the renders and making those renders look a lot more realistic. Obviously we've changed this. Now people are very used to this, but I, I think that if we did this in logical rows, then it'll be fine to go ahead and keep it the way it is. Now, we have a new princess with a splint for show that we have. <laughs> and the T-spine stuff is better than that too. The T-spine stuff is... Uh,